Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in this video, I am going to discuss about one of the best and free way to start your programming journey by learning Java. Yes, now you can start your programming journey and take your preparation from basic to advanced level by enrolling in guided path of Java by Code Studio and master the topics like variables, operators, control statements, arrays, strings, oops concepts in Java and many more topics. Now you must be thinking why, sh why you should enroll in this guided path, what you will get? The very first thing is this guided path covers basic to advanced level topics in a structured way. Plus you will get detailed notes followed by some practice questions as well as for all the topics covered. And this guided path cover all the important topics like introductory topics uh, like uh, variables, control statements, operators plus some advanced topics like uh, arrays, strings, oops concepts in Java, collection in Java, methods in Java and like this many more topics like this right plus uh, average time to finish this guided path is 25 days. Not only this you can unlock your free certificate once you complete 80% of this guided path after that without penalty you can unlock your certificate right. Now let's let me just show you how you can you know follow this guided path, how you can log in, how you can uh, you can say access this guided path, the modules or what they are going to teach you, the syllabus, uh, the type of questions and all. How to solve those questions. Let me just show you that thing. All the relevant links and details you will find in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see. So Once you click on that link, this uh, site would be open and first of all you have to log in. There would be a login button and you can log in with your Google, Facebook or your nokri.com account otherwise you can enter your email address then you can just click on this continue and one otp you will get and you just enter that otp and you will be logged in right first of all but you have to log in right now after that there would be something like uh, a tab guided path and there you will get all the guided paths so here one is basics of java you just click on start learning right now this type of page would be opened right you will, you will be redirected to this thing now let me just show you first of all the number of modules here you will get 12 modules. Now what they are going to cover in each module the very first thing is introduction to Java notes plus problems you will get. Now let me just show you first let me just click on that introduction see introduction and edition of Java right these notes you will get. Now features and use of Java then what is JDK, JRE, JVM these things you will get basics right after that practice problems also see like this JRE full form you just uh, you know select your answer submit and click next right. So how to run a code in Java then you will get some MCQs as well as right like Java file extension you can just answer your question and submit so this is module 1. Now in second module after this introduction to Java then variables and data types keywords what are variables, what are keywords, data types, types of variables, scope of variables, type casting, overflow, underflow in Java, these things. Same, let me just click on anything like keyword in Java, you will get notes here. After that, practice problems. These are practice problems, right? Then data types and then practice problems. Like this, in every module you will get notes plus questions, right? After that, uh, after the notes. Now practice problems also you will get. Now the third module is basic input output in Java like how you can how a user can input how you can take input from user in Java right. Then MCQs plus practice problems programs like this practice problems find area of rectangle print name and age swap two numbers calculate simple interest four problems are there. So you can click on one problem and see here would, would be the problem statement first understand this thing detailed explanation what input you can give what output they expect these thing first of all read this thing then you can write down your code here so just select your language you are learning java so you can select java here and then you can write down your code and you can submit right so practice problems would be given here now in the next module is what operators in java all the types of operators arithmetic assignment relational logical bitwise all the type of operators plus mcqs then control statements in Java, selection statements, then practice problems as well as then iteration statement, jump statement and then practice problems, right. Methods in Java, 
what are different type of methods parameters method overloading and practice problems just click on any one and see types of methods in java predefined user defined with code they have explained everything then you will get question like valid function and output which method some mcqs are there right and after that at the end of this module practice problems are always there function to print hello world print all the divisors of a number set bits total prime right like this in every module this is the pattern then memory allocation right garbage collection then arrays 2d arrays advantages and drawbacks of arrays practice problems then strings right then oops concepts in java right packages class constructor encapsulation inheritance polymorphism everything exceptional handling introduction to exceptional exceptional handling types of exception in java multiple catch block in java right finally a block in java and everything you will get here then mcqs then finally collections in java why we use java collection introduction then mcqs then problems and collection algorithm let's see example problems these are example problems like what is the output of the following program right and here they have given answer also plus explanation so this is i think a plus point for you guys question plus answer plus explanation also they have given right so these are 12 modules and one thing after completing 80% of this syllabus you can unlock this certificate right free certificate you will get here right average 25 days time it will take right and what are prerequisite nothing but basic aptitude and you should be you know eager to learn java language right so i think the plus point here is what you will get here notes everything first of all you will get in a structured way plus notes plus mcqs plus practice problems at one like you can say under one roof so this is i guess a very good thing for beginners especially right So now all the relevant links and details you will find in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. And if you find out this kind of video helpful for you guys, let me know in the comment section. So now we see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.